Hello swimmers, my name is Dan and I've been teaching open water swimming for about 20 years now. Had the good fortune to run into Kate a long time ago and if you've ever followed the original 10k plan to help out with your dark 10k preparations you'll have seen some of our work. So this is a follow-up collaboration and we wanted you to sort of have some advice getting back into the water, preparing, looking forward to the longest swim event that Kate's organizing and a little bit longer lines of a couch to 5k program we wanted to just get you up get you ready and get you back in the water now obviously it's going to be cold initially we've still got a few weeks to go before we can even contemplate really getting into commercial lakes to pools and so on so there's some dry land options coming up as well and this little video put together wanted to give you some advice on you know, a warm up before you got in the water, before you even got onto some of the dry land swim activities put together on this uh, little video. So, anything you can do to get the engine warmed up prior to getting in is going to be a good thing. Open water is a funny one that um, it's hard to get warm uh, given the nature of the temperature and so on. But hopefully, some of these will just, and, and it's not just a physical thing, but also a psychological thing as well. You can start to think about the body position that will be adopted in the water and so on. That simple trunk rotation movement is your body position. Uh, you'll see swimmers all over the world doing this uh, around poolside all the way up to the Olympics. Just a great way to get some blood flow into the triceps, into the shoulders and get you ready and loose. If you are in a, in a wetsuit, it's another great one to actually get the shoulders a little more mobilized and pull the wetsuit into position. Here's a follow up to the previous, just starting to bring the chest in a little bit, which is involved in the pulling action. So trunk rotations with a simple swing of the arms. This will definitely get your heart rate up. This is a great movement. So it's not swimming, That's don't get confused. You're just literally thumbs into the armpits, circling with the elbows, and then you just slowly unroll. Slowly make the hands travel in a bigger, bigger pathway until the arms are straight. Keep the hands uh, uh, 180 to each other so they're completely opposite. And do this sort of a few times. Just slowly unroll in, unroll out, and that will really get the heart rate up. Again, another progression on from the earlier trunk rotation. Now we're just sort of drawing the sword from the hip, taking it through to the back, back of the neck. This is a great rehab movement even if you've got some shoulder twinges. Add a, uh, when you're ready, add a tin of beans, just a little bit lightweight, and take that from your hip through. Um, this time last year, you could not buy stretch cords anywhere. They had all gone, as everybody realized, the problem of that lockdown was going to bring so we had to go out building our own and you know they can be quite expensive you've probably got a set of these laying around somewhere um, in which case we just got some simple elastic uh, pretty cheap from various places online you know where I'm talking about um, and most paddles have these sort of holes where they will let a little bit of water come through and just to keep sort of that water in contact with the hand and we tied them up and it worked really well now Here's your traditional sort of stretch cords. There's various different manufacturers. They can run 40, 50 pounds. So the fact that we couldn't get them, um, we made our own, just made life a little bit easier. And we ran uh, stretch cord sessions from um, our stairwell, which uh, proved quite popular. Now you can see in this position, what I'm not doing uh, is rotating. So we flipped this, we went into a vertical position and the stairwell lent itself really well to this actually. Um, with a simple pulley system, I'll talk more about that in a second. So you can see I'm standing up right here, which enables the full body to rotate. And that's beneficial uh, because that's what we do in the water. You know, if we swim flat across the shoulders, you're going to put the shoulders under a lot of strain. So if you can rotate the upper body, um, then that will really help. We made this work a little bit easier with a pulley attached. I think you saw the, the link there, um, sort of the physio pulley system. It's about seven pound. So actually the cords now run really smoothly and they're not sort of just fixed in the middle. I'm actually sort of swapping the hands from 180 uh, and that works quite nicely. There's a few other options available online. Uh, this was something new uh, that was obviously capitalized on the pandemic. Maybe it was on its way anyway, but basically it's an inflatable box. Uh, to make you a little bit more comfortable as you work with normal stretch cords. So that, that was quite nice. A um, few limitations, um, but it, you know, it was over a hundred pounds. So, you know, uh, was it that helpful? Well, it's up to you to decide. And obviously this is a little bit more expensive. Again, this is the Vasa swim bench. 
uh, fortunate enough to have had this for nearly 20 years. It's a great piece of kit. Come up now and again on, on eBay, pretty cheap. But those are just some other options.